everyone, this is Crystal. Welcome back to my Organize With Me series. Today, we are tackling stencils. So this is my little uh, drawer of stencils. It's just one of those clear plastic, uh, eight and a half by 11 or so drawers uh, that you can get at pretty much any big box store. I've been storing my stencils in here for quite a long time. Uh, some of the ones in the very bottom are very old and have not been touched in a long time. This has been working to a point, to a degree. Uh, I, I pretty much know what I have, so I typically go to this when I am looking for something specific and just kind of rifle through and grab it. But I would much rather have these stored in a way that I could actually flip through and maybe remember some of the ones that I, I don't always think of and um, just be able to see each one of them individually a bit better than I can in this system. Uh, but I'll be honest with you, I don't know what that solution looks like. I have no idea how to store these. So today I'm going to sort through, pick out which ones I actually want to keep and which ones I'm ready to get rid of. And uh, then once I have it down to the things that I really want to keep, then I, I can kind of see what I have and maybe make some decisions or at least, <laughs> at least ask you for help because I, I seriously have no idea. Um, I would like, I think, to store them uh, something similar to these Avery L large stamp and die storage bags. They're just plastic bags and, and you can put uh, cardstock in there to kind of give it a background so you can see what each stencil looks like. Uh, but these bags are not big enough to hold the six by eight stencils that I have, uh, like, like this, it's not big enough for that. So I need a different solution and I just don't know what that is yet. So I'm just gonna put you in fast forward, sort through this, and then we can talk about how I might be able to store them once I have it down to a smaller amount. Okay, so here are the ones I want to keep. I have a few six by six stencils, mostly from Echo Park. I have one from Hip Kit Club. I have a few um, of Vicki Booten stencils. I think there are three different packs here. I have several from scrapbook.com. Uh, and then I have a couple that I actually cut myself from some plastic and then one from Illustrated Faith. So those are the ones I want to keep. This is a pile of older stencils and templates that uh, I, I have had for a very long time. I do sometimes use the circle templates. So I may keep one of those. I'm just gonna have to see which one, but the rest I think I'm going to get rid of. And I'll be honest with you, I don't think these are even worth putting into the D-stash bin. I may just donate these um, to to maybe the library. I do have a pile of things to, to give to our local uh, children's department at the library. So I may do that with these. They may be able to get some more use out of them um, because they're just not really, they're just not really scrapbooking stencils even. So uh, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, and I've been thinking about how I might store them or the best way to store them. And what I'm leaning towards right now is this. So I have some just six by eight 
page protectors. There are, um, I think, several different manufacturers here. There are Simple Stories, Echo Park, Becky Higgins. Um, it doesn't matter. I know scrapbook.com has some as well. Um, they're just six by eight full page page protectors. And then I have one of these containers from scrapbook.com. So these are the large clear divided containers and these slip in here pretty perfectly. So I've taken out a couple of these dividers here so that there's room for them to sit in here and kind of be able to move back and forth. All of these stencils fit pretty well into these pockets. And then I just cut a piece of thin black paper, uh, it's inexpensive cardstock, um, to slide in behind the stencil because I felt like it was easier to see the stencil design with black behind it instead of white. So I think I'm going to do that with all of these. I actually don't have enough page protectors, I, I don't believe, to do all of the stencils that I have here. So I'm probably gonna have to wait until I can order a few more of these uh, before I can get this completely organized. But my plan is to use my label maker to create a label at the top here on the on the, um, the part where the holes are. My label maker is currently dead, the batteries are dead, uh, so I need to replace those as well. So I can't show you that either, but that's my plan, to put a little label here, to set them in here like this, and then um, you know they will, they'll all be in here and I'll be able to just kind of flip through like this to see what I have and then pull out the one I want to use and use it. And then I still have you know, half or so of this container for storing something else. I'm just not sure what that will be yet. So um, yeah, that's my plan. I am going to go ahead and do what I can here and um, then finish this up. So I hope that this has inspired you a little bit to maybe de-stash your stencils or at least get them organized if they're not already, if you're anything like me. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to leave those in the comments below and I will definitely get back to you. Uh, if you have any suggestions, I'm also very much still open to those as well. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you back here soon.